what's up everybody thank you for tuning in to a another episode of the actual podcast presented by us i'm chubbs one take um you can find us on facebook and instagram na.podcast919 twitter na underscore podcast919 soundcloud na podcast919 uh this i mean these this is the like the right. legit episode where we would love some feedback some comments some interaction uh we we've begun closing out the episode with our top 10 lists we would love to hear your top 10 or even just a an top idea, 5 or even an ideas for other top 10 lists we could do yes um cuz they're probably going to get weird here in a little bit about to get weird. Like, for real. Um, Alright, so that's it. Yeah, well, I was going to go through <laughs> all the social media stuff, but I already did that. Sure did. Uh, God. I'm so. Okay, so Fresco. What's up? What's up, Doc? Can we rock? Um, so, OJ, OJ Simpson is being released this fall. Show is funniest meme I saw about it, but at the same time, it still just didn't make sense because it didn't serve that long. Uh, nine years? Oh, j- well, has it been nine years? Uh huh. Nine of thirty-three. Oh well, then it's longer than I thought because I really thought like he was in for like six months. <laughs> no, that's so, my perception of time. No, it's it's been a while. Okay, so it makes more sense. Um, it he was got out before uh, Eagles the Eagles won, won a Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but he also is out before Dallas won another one, so... Am I the only one that thinks it's more ridiculous that he got 33 years for basically trying to get back his own memorabilia and the loose terms of kidnapping and brandishing a weapon to threaten people? He got 33 years for that. Yet, if he was convicted for killing Nicole, he would have probably been out in three. Well, I think it, it might have also been... I feel like... And am I also one of the only predominantly white people that doesn't think he's the one that killed Nicole and Stedman yes. or whatever? You want to hear my reasons behind it when you're done saying what you're saying? Good, I'm going to tell you. I mean, I'm done. Go ahead. Oh. I think his son did it. Okay. I was honestly... All right, so anyone that, that knew the stories back in the day, OJ was a control freak. Yeah. And he was verbally abusive. But he wasn't generally known to actually be physical from what I remember. Right. It was usually he threatened to be physical, but never was. It was more mental abuse. And for me, I feel like his son looked at it as Nicole was taking his dad away and taking the spotlight and also growing up under the, the name of you know, being OJ's son and this and that and stress. And then he other heard or happened to see that Nicole was with another dude. Didn't like it. I think he just went into a weird. Okay, but who is OJ's son? His son. I don't remember his name. I just think he did. He was a teenager at the time. I mean, that's even more of a reason. What? I mean, that's even more of a reason against it. Like, well, who's his son? I don't. I don't get your point behind it. Like people, like he, you. You said about you know being OJ's son. Yeah, as in he had to grow up being harassed and picked on and stuff. Opposed. Oh, your dad was OJ. No, it's oh right, but, oh. You're you're just a rich kid doesn't know crap and get okay, beat up. And where is he on. now? You know what I mean? Like that's irrelevant to the story. Like one hundred percent irrelevant. Sure. <laughs> to you, yeah. I, I mean, I'm just if he grew up all the whole, growing up his whole life, it's like, oh, you're OJ's son and all this other stuff. But now that he's an adult now, obviously, yeah. Who the hell is he? Could you point him out if there was a picture of five people? You'd be like, that's OJ's son. I don't even remember what he looked like when he was a kid. You don't remember? No. Right. So it's not like, I mean, this still doesn't ha- doesn't matter. What's that going to do with him growing up, being picked on, being stressed, and having a reaction and possibly murdering somebody? That doesn't doesn't matter. Because even today, he should still have the stigma of, oh, you're OJ's son, but nobody knows who the hell he is. It's because he got what he wanted out of it. He got his instant gratification. And why, like... <laughs> Everyone's always had the, why didn't the gloves fit? 
It's because they were they leather and they got wet. Not as small as they were. It's because they were for somebody smaller. And who's to say that OJ just didn't grab a, the closest pair of leather gloves? And try to squeeze them onto his hands and didn't fit and didn't get any blood on them? Washed them? I mean, it'd be the same as, as an individual that... I don't know. Never mind. It's not important. I don't care. Either way, my thought was always that his son did it. And OJ either came right at the end of it. Or as they were dead and his son was there and he basically tried to cover it up. And rushed his son away to get him away. And then he became the suspect to it. And instead of obviously throwing his own son under the bus, he's like, I'll just go through the stigma of it. Screw it. I'm not going to put my son through that. I mean, yeah, I mean, if if obvi- if you uh, if you didn't do it and you're obviously not going to get convicted of it, then <laughs> why not? But I, I don't know. I'm not a parent, so I can't say. I would like to think that if I had a kid and he did something like that. Well, yeah, but we sorry, also we I'm, also grew up and were raised differently. A lot of people weren't like that, where it's especially, not to be stereotypical, but especially in, you know, the African-American household, it's, you know, you protect your kids. How old was the kid at the time? I don't remember now. And I'm too tired to... Like, would he have been tried as an adult in the first place? Probably for that crime. Wow, different states are different. Yeah, because that was California. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm not saying it's a a hundred percent. I'm just that's my theory. I mean, if you put in if you put into the count that it would have been premeditated. Mm-hmm. Well, it looked like a, a it looked like a crime of passion, more or less, because of the the trauma to it. Right. So it wouldn't and be premeditated. It's not. It's not like Nicole was cheating on OJ. They were separated. Right. So it's not like he just all of a sudden found them and freaked out. It would just make sense for the adolescent teenager son to look into it wrong emotionally because he's not emotionally advanced enough and just freak the F out. So, okay, but what about the argument where... I mean, someone, someone could make an argument that his son if he did do it, would have also, either prior to or especially after, would have committed more crimes. It's nothing to say that he had, had your head in. People are, Look how many people have done so many crimes. His son's the Zodiac Killer. Look how many people did so <laughs> many crimes before they were caught, and they were th- those crimes were never caught until after the initial one that got them caught, and they admitted to stuff right but it's been how many years since this happened it's in the 96 94 mid 90s over 20 years yeah so assuming say it was his son and you also gotta remember that after this was all said and done the kid more than likely was also in therapy and whatnot for all of it not you know them thinking that it was his dad that did it and this and that so he was going through therapy and he could have possibly gotten the help that he would have needed that would have prevented it in the first place they just didn't know that it was him that did it i i sure i didn't say there weren't arguments against it this is my my theory the whole the whole i mean You'd have to dive into the psychology of... Say the of, whole... You, you saying that, then? Look at OJ. Where are all his priors before then? All his priors were just calls to the house because there was yelling between him and his wife. Right. And he was mentally abu- verbally abusive. He's got okay. no priors before and a black man in the 70s and 80s and 90s. Yeah, but he was a celebrity. It doesn't matter. I mean, he said, oh, I'm not black, I'm OJ. Right. But in the same, you're telling me that some angry older white woman when i say older she'd be old now but some white woman that time when wouldn't falsely accuse him of something yeah but uh, if he wasn't oj simpson sure he'd probably been in a lot of trouble it, there i'm saying there could have if somebody called uh on him for something right and he wasn't 
O.J. Simpson, the star running back of the Buffalo Bills, I could see him getting in a lot of trouble. Whereas he's the star running back of the Buffalo Bills, the helpless Buffalo Bills. Um, what about high school and college days? Again, he was he was the, the star athlete. You're looking at it from today's day and age. So you're saying that, that that's not something that used to happen? Oh, no, it definitely used to happen. But I'm saying as well known as he was, if he had priors, there would have been somebody to have an axe to grind just because he was a successful black man in a business in the 70s and 80s when people can say that, you know, civil rights movements before that, but it was still bad stuff. Yeah. There's no way if he had priors of any sort that something of some sort wouldn't have at least leaked at this day and age. There would have been somebody to come out when he ended up in jail for this one he's out now, or it's like, oh, well, you know, there was this time back in 1976. Yeah, but it's not like now where you have cell phones and social media where you can have instant proof at your fingertips. No, but I'm saying there would be people involved with it that it was brushed under the carpet and they didn't like it. And now Statute there's of limitations. Like, Huh? Statute of limitations. I well, mean, no, not 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 to necessarily say to get him in trouble, just to have the information out there. I suppose. I'm just saying, if you if you're gonna say, you know, unless they didn't want to end up, dead if you're gonna too. say, well, OJ's son didn't have any priors to that, and nothing has been heard of since. Well, how come you're not gonna talk about the father's priors then? How does one argument make well, sense I mean, to one person but not the other? It, at least there's. There's some sort of prior activity with OJ in that he was believed to have been an abusive person. Maybe not physically. Just because it wasn't shown physically doesn't mean it didn't happen physically. The kid was too young for it to be like that. Be like what? Having any of the stuff that he probably would have done that would have been deemed priors would have been the, the stuff that are known from like serial killers, like experimenting with killing animals. You know, stupid crap like that. Stuff that, depending on where he did it, how he did it, no one will know about it unless he told them. Right. I mean, the kid could have pr- probably started with stealing stuff. And if he's growing up in a, I mean, growing up in a household with an abusive father, that's translating to the kid carrying that with him to school. To where if pe- people are like, oh, you're AJ's dad, he's just knocking him OJ's silly. Too. Huh? I said OJ's too. What did I say? AJ. Oh. Um, if you're OJ's dad and Kid. he's he's grown up in a household where he's seen he's seeing that it's okay to be abusive, he's he would have had you would have had to believe that there would have been problems at school that would have been known about. Like I said, depending as far as after the situation, like I said, he his family would have had enough money and with that situation, state-wise, they more than likely put him in counseling. So he would have been getting... Yeah, and probably took him out of public schools. Yeah. So he would have been getting the help that he would have needed to prevent my theory of him killing. Therefore, putting him on the right path. Maybe even medicating him. I don't know. I, I suppose. Just I, I just feel like if... if Like, there's people that kill, and then there's people that kill a lot of people. There are people that literally kill once out of rage. Right. And that's it. And, and that's then, all they needed to do. Yeah. Because uh, they or got their, their aggression out. And, and there's other the people that something pushes them over the edge, gets them to that, and they decide that they like killing because it makes them feel better. Yeah. It gives them a sense of power. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of an interesting... Which is always my thought. Hmm. Um, I'm not saying OJ was a good guy because he really wasn't. But right, there was a funny joke where he said something about, or somebody said that they quoted him like he didn't say it. They were just putting words in his mouth <laughs> as a joke, and it was just like, "Oh, being a uh, free man and dating again, I'd like to take another stab at it." <laughs> See, they had the, you know that. Well, it's a. GIF or GIF now. Uh, LeVar Ball, when he was walking into first take doing his strut, 
him doing that and said OJ walking into the Kardashians' household telling him that Chloe's his daughter. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I laughed. Um, if she was a little bit darker, I wouldn't be surprised. She looks way too much like her sisters, besides being bigger than them. Yeah. Uh, speaking of killers, as morbid as that sounds, I started watching... Wu-Tang uh, Killer Bees. Huh? What? What? Wu-Tang Killer Bees. Oh. Uh, I started watching a program, it's on the History Channel, and it's the uh, great-great-grandson of H.H. H. Holmes, who is widely regarded as America's first serial killer. Isn't he in charge of NXT? No. That's Hunter Harris Helmsley. Yeah, Triple H. Yeah. No, H.H. Holmes. uh, Yeah, Triple H. Actually, no. Hunter Harris Holmes. Everyone knows that. His real name is Herman Webster Mudgett. Great uh, great name. From Gilmanton, New Hampshire. Uh, That's right. Uh, But his great-great-grandson is now trying to connect the dots to prove that his great-great-grandfather was also Jack the Ripper. Because... Is he just looking for notoriety, or does he believe it? He really believes it. And, I mean, the I've only seen the first episode, but there's actually some compelling argument to it. I'm was, I was not saying that it's not, but I'll also say that, you know, that old, the old saying of if you're looking for information, you're going to find it? Or yeah, you, no, I, I totally agree with that. So, um, like, the number 23? But it kind of, if you think about it, before... Bef- before the well-known killings of H.H. H. Holmes in Chicago in the late 1800s mm-hmm. were five brutal killings of ladies of the night right. in London. Um, Which it was always rumored that it could have been an American. Right. And the, it, you know, the person behind them was affectionately called Jack the Ripper. They never caught Jack the Ripper. Nope. And, it was rumored that he either quit, died, or got arrested for something else. Right, but if you got arrested for something else, you would assume that they would I say somehow. Something else. One of the one. Of, sorry to interrupt you, but mm. one of the guys that was rumored. I don't remember the name. But one of the guys that ru- was rumored that was an American. He was also like a lifetime criminal. Mm. So one of the rumors for if it was him was that he got arrested for some petty crime that had nothing to do with any of it. So it's not like he got caught red-handed trying to like kidnap another hooker. Right. Is he he got captured in London or in America? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was America. And if he, he said it was a lifetime criminal, so is he like looking? Would he would he be the type of person looking for notoriety? Uh, he was just looking to scam people and get money. From what I recall, see that wouldn't that that wouldn't match the mo of. No, that's what I'm saying. Was, he he did he had some other stuff. Right. That was like mutilation and, and this and that, but some of it wasn't like hard enough evidence to completely pin it on him. Yeah. Um, there, there was one that I watched a while ago because I've always been interested in Jack the Ripper. I actually did a study thing on him when I was in high school. I only remember bits and pieces because it was way too long ago. I, I like the theory that he just died because... I always thought that it was actually a, a doctor that had other a mental issue. H.H. H. Holmes was a doctor. Yeah. I always thought that it was it was a doctor. Well, he had a doctorate anyway. Yeah. No, I meant like medical doctor. Yeah. Cuz there 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 was He went to he went to the University of Michigan for yeah. medical school. There was there was always the rumor cuz um besides it being mutilation I don't pe- well, I shouldn't say people. Generally, my thought is is when you hear the word mutilation, you think like messed up. Like cut screwy like hamburger meat like you know what i mean yeah i also think of like broken limbs like yeah beyond like, repair. like gnarly looking yeah opposed to the thought behind whoever jack the ripper was is his mutilation was in terms of like he cut private parts out yeah or took intestines out and stuff like that but it was done in a very surgical manner it was very neat it was only considered mutilation because it wasn't done for a natural reason it was done to disgrace the body right that would make even more sense for h.h H. holmes yeah um i don't i wish i remembered more of my stuff because there there was plenty of stuff that had that pointed more so to it not being him but unfortunately right. i don't remember it because i mean to have five 
brutal murders happen. Five. And then no more of that fashion. Yeah, it's not like, eh, five was good. Right. It makes sense to believe that he either, A, left the country and went elsewhere. Right. Or B, died. Because it's not like a serial killer just goes, that was enough for me. I'm done. Because (laughs) it's generally a feeling of, like, I need to do this to feel normal. There was... Yeah. So it continues. And it's an empowerment. Thing. Right. And it, and it usually escalates. All right. There was also a rumor that the person, A, stopped, like I already said, was arrested for something non-related. Mm-hmm. Um, and there was also another rumor that the person that did it, if they were like an older aging doctor, maybe, um, crap, what are they called? The, uh, the morticians? Mm-hmm. Obviously, they would have to have some medical knowledge and whatnot. It was a rumor that one of them did it, that maybe they were around and so much... And body, and you know the stuff I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. They put em- corpses and embalming fluid. Thank you. Embodiment's all I could think of. Um, the embalming fluid and being around that and ammonia so much that it started to cause like early onset dementia type stuff. So the reason they stopped is because <laughs> the person literally lost their mind and forgot forgot who that they he were was a serial what, killer. Yeah, like literally just mind gone. I like that, but the 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 problem against that is that it would have more no. more often than not been a progression of said dementia. Uh, so I would imagine the five killings, there would have been more more and more flaws. Yeah, and you would have thought there would have been at least maybe the last one or the sixth one where it was like half assed, where it was just like they ended up instead of him like them bleeding out, it would have been like. They dragged themselves to try to get somewhere and end up bleeding out through a longer period of time because he was in the middle of it and just like, yeah, where the hell am I? Yeah. No, hmm. there's definitely some flaws depending on it. I mean, there there was also the, the rumor to that where if the person had, you know, early onset dementia because of work stuff, that maybe a family member knew it and tried to get him help and they ended up in other the loony bin or, you know, getting help and then they were just ended up losing it that way. Right. So it could have just been a, you know, a coincidence. Hmm. Opposed to a digression of style of killings. I used to know a whole bunch more behind it, but I don't know. It's kind of funny that we're talking about this, knowing that our top ten list is animated movies. Yes. I guess we should have went with the horror. We should have saved this for Halloween. Yeah. Um, But one of, like, my thought, just based, I, I gotta watch the other episodes, but my thought based on the first episode of this you said it was on the history channel yeah um i i found it on demand so you might have it on demand i haven't checked hulu yet what's it called american ripper um and it's new yeah like it just started like th- three weeks ago yeah. i just asked because i watched a newish jack the ripper one i think last year um what it, like my thought is so you learned that growing up uh Holmes. The great great grandson? No, the great great grandfather. Um, I, guess I must have heard what you said wrong. Growing up, he people believe that he was responsible for several other murders. While uh, he was growing up? While he, like, from the age like 15 on. Uh, most of them family members. <laughs> but it was like scarce records of it. Yeah, it was. Um, so records weren't easy to come by then, and right. that was it, still while he was in the United States. Yeah, this was still this was in in New Hampshire. Yeah, so definitely harder records. Right, then. especially a small town. And that was eighteen nineties, eighteen eighties. Uh, eighteen sixties. Growing up, I get I get so many numbers in my head. Um, but like oh, growing were, up, yeah, yeah, there were like birth records that weren't kept. So then, obviously, there wasn't a death record of somebody because. Right. So there's a whole lot of missing stuff, but there's there's a lot of there's some death records of his cousins that were mysteriously found drowned. Right. Um. So my th- my thought on it is that serial killers tend to escalate, and H. H. Holmes escalated to the point of having this murder castle they called in Chicago. He had a hotel, yeah. and it was specifically designed to trap people in it so he could kill them. Yeah. Whatever. They but, actually did a um, American Horror Story. I think it's called Murder Hotel. Is I don't know that it's 
loosely based on that, but it had some some theories behind it that were similar to me. I never watched. Um, but I'm wondering if, while he's waiting for this hotel to build, his palms start to get itchy because he's wanting to kill people, but he can't. And he's in a big city of Chicago, not the small town of Gilmanton, New Hampshire. Right. You know, and there's this... Wait, and that was... So this is around... This was later on, right? Yeah. Um, and in Chicago, what time? Chicago, 1887-ish. He started the plans for the hotel. Didn't they have some big mob stuff in Chicago at that time? Maybe. I'm just, I'm just in my brain trying to rack on... Rack up on the thoughts of, you know... Well, he could have killed and got away with it yeah. if that was going on. Yeah, that's what I was... Uh, or even joined the mob and been a hitman. Or literally just done something and placed it in the mob territory. Right. Um, but, so, uh, 1888 was, was Jack the Ripper between um, July and August. There was only, like, a month period. Right. Because um, wasn't it, like, once a, once, a, once a week or once every two weeks, something like that? Yeah. But there... So, there's paperwork of... there's paperwork about the hotel's construction signed by Holmes uh, up until July of 1888. Stop Holmes. And then there's nothing else until April of 1889. Hmm. So I'm wondering if in his escalation of needing to kill he got tired of waiting jumped on over the pond Might as well go on over the pond. Killed five people. Hey, Chris, let's and go on the pond. Then said, I got to get back from my hotel, and then came back. Could have. I mean, I mean, if, if it's if, logical. No, it, it is, because, I mean, if you've got that, if you have that mental anguish itch where it's, you need to, you're going to find a way, especially if you're a smart enough human being to be like, I don't, I don't want to crap where I eat. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, and he was, by all accounts, a super smart individual. Most serial killers usually are. Um, I mean, he, he shadowed a, a, a mortician in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. uh, he went to school, to medical school at the University of Michigan. Um, I, I don't know. Yeah, I know. It's interesting. I actually, I actually really enjoy unsolved mysteries like this. Like the D.B. Cooper case. I haven't seen an, enough new stuff for like... All the stuff I've seen, it's been loosely put into, like, movies and stuff where mm -hmm. they they took facts and whatnot, but obviously since it was a right. movie, they did it for entertainment opposed to... Last year, last year they had some, this, like, group of people, group, uh, ex-CIA, FBI people were trying yeah. to... That, that was pretty interesting, wasn't actually. Wasn't it technically where he, he jumped ship and whatnot? Wasn't it technically Washington State? They, they left Washington State... And he jumped somewhere between there and Las Vegas. So somewhere in like Nevada, north right. northwest Nevada. I almost said Nirvana. Up a creek without a paddle. Yeah, I mean, and it was in an area where it was just straight woods. Right. So the thought that he was going to jump out of this plane and survive, it was the winter, it was nighttime. Granted, it's not super cold over there, but right. you figured... Washington State, I'm assuming, gets snow. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming the north end of Nevada probably gets Some in the mountain probably. area. Yeah. Um, I mean, the chance of even surviving that jump is ridiculous. Not to mention the fact that he did it with tons of money that's not been found. Didn't they find like find like a stack of like one like stack one some, time back into that? These people, this family, this weird family, found some at like a beach somewhere. Yeah. Um, but it, I don't know. That's it's weird. I really think that that was an inside job. I don't remember enough about it, and I'm just tired enough right now where my brain just like words. <laughs> I got. I want to find that show and watch that again. Um, but anyway, so. Yeah, I mean, if you're interested in, Leonard? in stuff... Huh? Happen Leonard? No. Uh, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, the American Ripper show... You have to remind me before you leave. I'll, I'll check and see if it's on, because okay. I, I always like Jack the Ripper stuff. Um, also, speaking of H.H. H. Holmes, that he's got a Leonardo DiCaprio and Martin Scorsese are teaming up again for an H.H. H. Holmes movie. 
Is DiCaprio going to be Holmes? Yes. I think I heard that. I am way too excited about that. <laughs> like, way too excited. Calm down. But uh, it's uh, from what I heard, it's not going to be focused so much on... Murder. Yeah, it's not going to be so much focused on Holmes himself, but more of, like, Chicago in that time. Huh. That's what I heard, but I don't know. I'm interested to see it. For um, sure. Yeah. You want to talk about anything? No. Nah. No? Okay. Hey, you awesome. Cut right to our top ten list. Well, you had something you said you wanted to rant about, or did you earlier and got it out of your system? I don't remember. No, I didn't earlier, um, but... Oh, I remember, yeah. I think I'm over it. Yeah. I, I'm just tired of... I'm tired of hypocrisy when it... Um, when it fills your narrative. Seems to be the 2017 way. Yeah, I just it's. I don't. Know, I'm done with it. And yeah, moving on. There's fact and there's fiction. Right. There's no oh, I make it fit my facts. Right. What? What was that? That saying? Somebody. Somebody said it once, and both of us were like, "It's not how that works." Sixty percent of the time, it works, it works every time. time. No, it was something like. <laughs> You know the old saying? Nope. Nope. Uh, what was <laughs> it? That's that's my my truth. Oh yeah, that's my truth. That's that's not how that works. You can't just be like there there are things that are true and there are things that are f- that are facts and fiction. You can't just say it's true to me, therefore it's right. Right. No. Yeah. Um that's my story. Okay. So, moving on from this morbid conversation of... Let's bring some levity to it. ...of death and serial killers and... and this is weird. ...whatnot. Totally fits into the non-applicable. Right. That's perfect. <laughs> uh, we're going to move on to our top ten list, and this Of animated movies. Animated Disney's movies. going to be involved. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm more entertained by this now. Do you, do you want to go first, since I always go first? Not really. Okay. I can if you want me to. Um, Actually, I shouldn't say not really. I don't really care. You want me to? I will. Yeah, go first. All right. Ten. A movie. Nine. Another movie. Uh, ooh, I like that one. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start at ten, huh? Yeah. If you want to. You can start at one. You can start um, with your honorable mention. Um. All right. At ten, I want to put Shrek. Okay. I've Franchise seen... or the just the first one? I've only seen two of them. Okay. So I'm going to say two of them. Okay. <laughs> and again, two and one are going to be my top two favorites. The rest in between are just meh, whatever. Okay. Um, <laughs> I got one on here twice. Idiot. Um, Actually, my top three will be my, my favorite. All right, so what did I say ten ones? I already forgot. Shrek. Shrek. All right. You know nine. what's helpful is if you actually number. Huh? If you actually number it instead of just writing, don't mock my process. <laughs> One take just writes every movie that he's ever seen that's animated. Well, dude, I, st- <laughs> dude, I start. I start out. I write top list, and then I write one through ten. Yeah. And then under the one through ten, I write all the movies. Then my intentions were I was like, I go back and put them on, but then I just don't. And then I'm like, screw it, I'll just do it this way. <laughs> okay. All right. So ten was Shrek. Yeah. Uh, nine. I'm gonna put Finding Nemo. Okay. Eight. Uh, I'm going to put... Actually, I'm going to change. I'm going to change. At ten, I'm going to put Fantasia. Okay. Only for its classicness. Sure. Because I'm sure if I watch it now, it'd be awful. Terrible. I hate but that But when movie. I was a kid, that stuff blew my mind. I was like, this is awesome! Hate that movie. The walking brooms and mops freaked me out. Oh. No, when I was a kid, dude, I <laughs> loved it. It was, it was like pure... Like magic to me, All no right. pun intended. All right. So I'm gonna put that at ten just for for that, and then nine will be Shrek, eight will be Finding Nemo, seven, I'm gonna put the animated Big Friendly Giant, which okay. I grew up on and loved. Uh, I said, was that eight? 
Yeah. Uh, seven, I'm going to put uh, uh, Jungle Book. Six, I'm going to put A Bug's Life. Okay. Which was like an ant's ripoff, but better. Yeah. Five, I'm going to put Monsters, Inc., which could be a little bit higher on my list, but... Four, I'm gonna put remotely newer. Actually, no, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Aladdin at four. Okay. At three, I'm gonna put Wreck It Ralph because it was funny. That, what number was that? Three. Sugar. <laughs> um. Two, the the animated Robin Hood. Okay. When he's a fox. Loved that. Yeah. Yeah. Used to be my jam. And one, sausage party. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Even though, so the reason I almost cussed is because there's other ones in here that I would have liked to have put in there. Um, so honorable mentions, we've got Lo- no, yeah, Lion King. That, that's a classic that could easily be on the list. Um, I have Toy Story in my list, even though I've never seen any of them in entirety. Okay. No reason. I just never got a chance to, and then I never think to. Um. Did I put Aladdin in the list? Yeah. All right. I put Shrek, Beauty and the Beast, uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Uh, the one that I wanted to fit into the list, and I might replace it with one, is Ratatouille. Love that the one. The one that got away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Little Mermaid, of course. Night Before Christmas, Bambi, Pinocchio, Tarzan, 101 Dalmatian, Cars. Cars was hilarious. Alice in Wonderland, and then the other one I wanted to fit into my list, and I probably would have if I was smart and wrote it down properly, was Up. I loved Up. Okay. The All dog, right. hilarious. My master made me a collar so I could talk. Ooh, squirrel. <laughs> All right. All uh, right. So I'm going to start with my honorable mention. You're so friggin' weird. Well, because these are, these are ones that could have made the list, and, th- like, I'm going to start 10, go 10 to 1. So by honorable mention, it's like these are ones that could have been number 10. All right. I can deal with that better than you just doing it weirdly in my mind. That oh, makes no. more sense now. I'm with you. All right. Um, so I don't like it. Honorable mention. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, I have six movies in my honorable mention. Um, a Goofy movie. Okay. Did you ever see it? Probably it was Bugs Bunny stuff back in the day. They go on the road trip together. Uh, I don't remember. That was way too long ago. It's quality. Um, sausage parties in my honorable mention. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I... Since we, we didn't argue, but we debated... Oh, yeah. My very, very first honorable mention, which would have been my number one movie, but we decided it wasn't full animated enough, would be Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Right. I uh, almost put a Resident Evil one in there because they did an animated CGI one that was pretty. Right. I, I mean, I like pretty nar-nar. Who Framed Roger Rabbit is a quality movie. It, yeah, just, it's yeah. very good. I love that movie. Um, You're just not putting it animated because there's too much live action to it. Yeah, I mean, for me, animated movie fully animated, like no real people. For me, the only time it's not animated consider animated is when it's mostly real people and the stuff that's not is CGI. Which See, I mean you could even argue that some of the other stuff. Yeah, like is, the newer but, like the newer jungle jungle book. Yeah, that's definitely not animated. Right. That's, that's live action. That's the category it's under as well. Yeah. The new BFG one, Pete's Dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've, Pete's Dragon That uh, can't be in your list either. Pete's, uh, uh, Elliot is the only animated thing in both the, the original and the new one. Uh, I think some apples were in the original one, weren't there? Yeah, yeah, because he had to eat. But it, they were only animated so the purpose of he could eat one and then also... Yeah. Um, all right. All right, sorry, back to your list. That's fine. Uh, a Goofy Movie, Sausage Party, um, Storks. The only reason Storks is in my honorable I mention... I was going to watch it and I forgot. Because if it wasn't for the character of Toady, I would Sup, even, brah. would not even care about that movie. Like, that, I tell you about my girlfriend. It's the, the funniest character in a movie called Storks is a pigeon. I'd make her up. She's real. <laughs> she lives in Canada. Um, 
Frozen. Don't judge me. I, I haven't com- seen it for any reason. Except I'm comfortable enough with myself to admit. I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan of musicals in general. Frozen's dope. Oh, d- d- your own. I mean. Um, Despicable seen- Me. I haven't seen any of them yet. Um, just the first one. Uh, I don't remember the second one well enough, and I haven't seen the third one. And then Minions rounds out my honorables. honorable mentions. Uh, <laughs> this is funny. Six through ten, I wrote down, and then I crossed out, and then rearranged a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> Number ten is Up. So you um, liked Up as well? Yeah. Number nine is Wally. Oh, I forgot that on my list, but... Uh, number eight, I have it's Finding Nemo slash Finding Dory. Yeah, I almost did that, too. Because they're the same, I mean, of equal enjoyment right. for me. Uh, number seven, I have the Toy Story franchise. I have seen them. Uh, fourth one's not out yet, but it's coming eventually. Oh, no, never mind. I just thought of another one, but it wasn't animated. Um, Toy Soldiers. Oh, I love that movie. That was more real than animated, though. Yeah. Uh, number six, I have The Incredibles. I haven't seen it. I find it super weird that they are now making a, the sequel to The yeah, Incredibles. Yeah. Sound like you just all of a sudden had alcohol again. Yeah, they're uh-huh. making a sequel to The Incredibles, and it's supposed to take place immediately after the events of the first one. I'm saying they're doing it just because they, they'll probably be able to do box sets and get new sales on the old ones. Probably. Uh, number five, now we're getting into the real... Meat and potatoes. Five. The nitty gritty. The meat and potatoes of my list. Uh, Ratatouille. <laughs> Ratatouille. Um, I can't believe I didn't fit that onto my list. That's such a great movie. It was. Uh, Secret Life of Pets is number four. I haven't watched that yet either. Number three, we're the same. Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> uh, I enjoyed that way more than I should have, probably. I, yes. As, I, a, as a grown ass man. I saw that when, it, when that was first coming out, I'm like, that just looks stupid. And then. They're making the second one. I know. I'm excited. Um, Wreck-It Ralph would have been number one on my list had it not been for these other two. That's kind of how the list works, huh? Yes. <laughs> number ten would have been one if there weren't nine others. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, number two is Big Hero 6. Stupid. Have you seen it? No. Have you guys see it? It's great. No, I want to. I saw uh, it. And number one is Inside Out. Inside Out. Yep. It's, uh... It's essentially focused around the internal feelings of this, of this little girl. Uh, there's, there's oh, that's joy. why you connect with it. <laughs> there's joy, sadness, anger, fear, uh, and one other one. Lewis Black voices uh, anger. I've heard, I've heard the name of it before. I'm just Mindy Kaling uh, is a voice. Disgust. That's the one. Uh, Phyllis plays Phyllis in in the office. office. She does sadness. Amy Poehler is the voice of joy. It's hilarious. I, I know I know of it. I just I, in my brain I'm not putting the. Once you said it, the only thing that came to mind was that was an Adam Sandler. That was pick pix. Oh, pixels. Yeah. Not even close. Yeah, I know, but that's what popped into my head. That was an okay movie. I haven't seen it. Uh, and that's even weirder why that would pop into my head. Yeah, especially because it's not fully animated. You're not fully animated. Um, so anyway, that's our list. Uh, what are yours? <laughs> we showed you ours. Yeah. So, we don't know what will be next week because for reasons that you don't need to know. Yeah, that's how we roll. Um, so we're October, we know already. Right. Well, hope you enjoyed this weird episode that went from serial killers <laughs> it went from oj simpson to serial killers to animated movies and that's why we are a non-applicable podcast and this is our actual podcast and ironically enough sausage party had to do with the killing of food yeah so it kind of fits we kind of uh, strung it all together we're dumb that's great uh anyway like share subscribe um, Facebook and Instagram, na.podcast919, Twitter, na underscore podcast919, SoundCloud, na podcast919. Another thing I should have said is if you happen to be listening to this on SoundCloud, go to any of our other social media platforms and our YouTube channels and every one of our bios, descriptions, whatever. Yes. YouTube.com slash Yeah, a whole bunch of word letters. Yeah. Go there. Subscribe. Watch more stuff. Do it.
Love it.